Hey folks, I'm HP and this is Dr. Pink. And before we start, make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification button, the bell, to get informed when new uploads are released or a live stream is taking place. And today's topic is play a show off rock and roll pro guitar solo with only three licks. I've been playing, oh, I'm first gonna play this thing and then I go start to blabber. I take the track from long, old time rock and roll, this is how it sounds. <laughs> <laughs> that's how the whole thing sounds and that's what I want to say before I started to play I played my start my career as a rock and roll guitar player with a guy called Hemp Goes Wild and then Elvis impersonator and played like two shows per week and I was always trying to make a cool rock and roll solo I could play fast runs I could play anything nothing worked at the end I found out what really helps and you have your show off effect like who here I am is these licks and they're very simple and it's absolutely enough to have the effect which you need because you don't have the time it's mostly only short song and then you come and then waff and then you go away and um, they really work on this specific type of rock and roll like this is one in 25 bpm and it's a straight rock and roll and the main thing is you you need to have that really if your solo comes, you have to build up the pressure like, and give you a, a, an extra hype. And you cannot do this by playing single note lines. I'm going to show you. I play just basic normal stuff and it won't sound. Let's see this. No effect. Now we go to the... And when those legs come as well, whoa, this guy can play, but this stuff is way easier to play than the other things. So let's get started. As I already said, the track is uh, from Old Time Rock and Roll by Bob Seger. And um, let's check out how you can play the, the legs. It's in F sharp, so we're playing the pentatonics here in the second fret. <laughs> But you don't even know, need to know the pentatonics, you just need to know the licks. So, the first lick is this one here. This one here. We have here the band, it's a repeating pattern. Bending in the fourth fret, index makes a bar here. And since we have a on, on 125 BPM, you will play eight notes. And this is a figure of three notes. And since we are playing in eights, the accent always moves, so one, one and two and three, four, one and two. So we start, first start on an on beat, then our off beat always switches bet in between, and somehow the accent always moves, and this creates this great effect. And uh, by doing this let ring thing here, uh, this gives really punch, and you, you can keep it going even for a whole chorus. Doesn't really matter. Um, probably it should be more than only one lick, but if, it's, if you really put it the hard way, this can also work only with this lick here. Now when it comes to the picking, if you do alternate picking, it would be down stroke, up stroke, down stroke, up stroke, down stroke, up stroke. But maybe that's too complicated for some of you. And in this case, I could say, well, we don't do alternate picking, just we make down stroke, up stroke, down stroke. Because we have enough time to to reorder the pick and let's see how it works. It's really cool. And you can really can keep it going on forever. One, two, two. Yeah. 
and then you have time for the dog walk, <laughs> which uh, Jock Barry used to do, or uh, Angus Young makes something else. I don't know how he calls it, but when you do stuff like that, you have time for a show of effect. Now we want to put something additional, so this will be <laughs> this one here, double stop lick. Um, here in the fourth fret we play the G and the B string. We make a quarter tone bending and we pull it down, not up, because this direction doesn't work. Down, release, and two. So four, four, two. And here's the same thing now. It's a figure of three on the accent also moves the same way as before. And since we're playing double stops, you can play you can play all down strokes. And you play it as long as you like, and then you resolve it here on the fourth fret. So let's check that one out. Let's go. So, um, now we want to have a work, put on a highlight when we're playing like three chords, we need a highlight, that will be this one. You can do any double stops like here, bar in the second fret, you can make bar in the fifth with the pinky. That works, but if you want to make it more nasty, make this one here, fifth fret and ring finger fourth. And now same thing again, a figure of three, two down, one up. We can also make... Well, or whatever, but this figure works best, two down, one up. Or you make down strokes as well, so let's see how that one works. So, with these three legs, you have your show of effect. Now, how you create a solo with these three legs, just you can w either add one after each other, or play the first, go to the root note, then play the second, then the third. I gave a little example, you can put those together, or you make it your own example, but these three will have the great effect, which we want. I mean, you don't have to always play the figure precise. You probably noticed I didn't always make the thing uh, which I told. But basically, it works around that figure. And one tip, it's cooler just to go wild. Just don't be too precise. Don't think about, oh, I, I missed the, the pattern. Just get it wild. <laughs> really attack the strings hard. <laughs> and... Uh, really look cool on stage and that's what we want. Yeah, folks, the next will be to learn the duck walk. <laughs> Chuck Berry, I cannot do it here in the studio. Well, I could, but then I get out of the picture. <laughs> yeah, but uh, currently we cannot go outside, so um, we don't want to go on stage. We don't have a great time, have a party of ourselves, and these three leaks really help you to be cool 
and have a real show of effect the easy way and I can tell <laughs> by now I play guitar for six months when I was in those bands they had no clue that I only played guitar for six months and I just know knew few licks and these three were ones of them and uh, I could play other licks but they didn't work out faster licks cooler licks these three worked and um, yeah there's no more to say about this uh, also now I would suggest even if I could play more wilder stuff at the end it comes back to these three licks which really work in a rock and roll setting on a above 120 BPM or 110 BPM really works really cool good one more to say if you want to download the backing track and the tabs they're available at the HV Crazy Guitar Academy link is in the description box below and uh, follow me on Instagram follow me on Google follow me on Spotify um, subscribe to this channel hit the notification button and uh, we're cool, we're building up a cool guitar community here, so join me and Dr. Pink and all the other ones who are on board here. Yo, see ya guys. Mm -hmm.